Okay. Um, so to go through this, you have 5 pi, uh, I'm sorry, 5 over um, 5 and 4 and 1.25 and 1. So what we need to do is we need to determine uh, if these are going to be similar triangles, really or not, and then find the six trigonometric functions, right? So the first thing we need to do, and I'm just going to kind of go over the first three trigonometric functions, um, because once we know that the first three are all equal to each other, we know that the reciprocal identities are, or reciprocal functions are going to be um, the same as well. So the first thing I look at, ladies and gentlemen, is I know these, I need to figure out what my other leg is, right? And I know that one leg plus another leg equals your hypotenuse squared, right? By using the Pythagorean theorem. Hopefully you guys can know five, four, um, when five is your hypotenuse and one leg is four, that's a Pythagorean triple. So that leg is going to be three. Now I don't know exactly 1.25, so I'm actually going to do the math for that one. So 1.25 squared is equal to 1 squared plus, and let's call this b squared. All right, so I do 1.25 squared, and I get 1.5625 equals 1 plus b squared. So I minus 1, and I get 0.5625 equals b squared. Take the square root of both sides. You didn't get that. And when I take the square root, I get what? One point two five times one point two five, you're getting what? One point five six. Well, it, you're, huh? Yeah, you're just, you're just calculator just has a different, ver it just rounded up to your um, different point. So, because if you rounded one point two five, then you get to that. Um, no, your calculator rounded it. It should make an answer because then when you take the square root, you get b equals 0.75. Correct? I'll show you. What, I'll show you exactly. Your cal you you can change the function where your calculator where it rounds to, so it's just different on your calculator than mine. Um, but when you take the square root, you get 0.75. Correct? So now let's go and take a look at our function. So remember, sine of theta is remember opposite over hypotenuse, which is three fifths. Cosine of theta is equal to 4 over 5, adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent, which would be 3 over 4. Now let's take a look at this triangle and see if that's going to be the exact same. So the sine of theta in this triangle is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, which is 0.75 divided by 1.25. Cosine of theta is going to be 1 over 1.25. Um, adjacent over hypotenuse, and then the tangent of theta, and this one is going to be 0.75 divided by 1. And are these exactly the same ratios as we look at them? Yes, if you were to kind of reduce these down, if you want to find, if you just want to divide them out and see what the decimal version is, and for these, you can see that they are exactly the same. Therefore, these are going to be similar triangles. All right, do you guys see what I did? Any questions? You can see that you can just say that the ratios are exactly the same for your trigonometric functions, all right? As these ratios are the same, if you guys want to confirm with that, all right? So that's it.